It was early morning on the island of Sodor. Duncan was waiting for Peter Sam, who was bringing some freight cars for him, to take to Strawberry Grove. Duncan was also to take the headmaster and the new organ. While they waited, the headmaster played a lively tune. Peter Sam had steamed all through the night to bring Duncan his wagons. But as he approached the junction, a low-hanging branch knocked his whistle off. This meant he couldn't work until he got a new one. I can't run on the tracks without my whistle, chuffed Peter Sam. That would be too dangerous. An engine's not an engine without a whistle, boasted Duncan. And just to prove it, he let off a big blast. But the rest of the engines just ignored him. Duncan chuffed away in a big huff. He was cross. They're jealous of my fine whistle, Duncan huffed, as he steamed through the countryside. He whistled at some sheep, but they were too busy eating grass to take notice. Bah, said Duncan. I need to whistle louder and longer next time. Soon Duncan approached a level crossing where Elizabeth, the quarry truck, waited with a farmer's prize bull. This time, Duncan whistled as loud and as long as he could. said the bull. Stop that nonsense, Duncan, Elizabeth called. Duncan carried on cheerfully down the track. But he hadn't noticed his whistle had come loose. Then Duncan saw Terence plowing a field. He'll get the loudest and longest whistle yet, he chortled to himself. And he blew so hard his whistle shot off like a mighty rocket and landed out of sight. <laughs>